Hello, I'm Shilton Charles, Information and Communications Officer at the St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority. Today I'm going to talk to you guys on the importance of waste management and how it can assist you in managing vector populations in and around your household. As you know, human beings generate waste. This waste material attracts vectors such as mosquitoes, flies, rats and mice by providing them with a food source and or shelter. Did you know that approximately 50% of all household waste consists of organic material such as green waste and food scraps? Diverting such items will eliminate the food source, thus greatly reducing the occurrence of vermin infestation around the household. One very effective way of doing so is through composting. Here is how to get started. Allocate a small container such as a bin or bucket. Place a layer of soil grass or leaf material to the bottom of the container. This will absorb any moisture produced by the food scraps, which would be added later during the process. Chop up your kitchen scraps, such as vegetable and fruit peels, small amounts of cardboard, etc. Add to your container and mix well. Cover your compost bin with a breathable material such as an old cloth to avoid pests from entering. This also allows circulation of oxygen. Repeat this process daily or when kitchen scraps are available until your container is filled. Mix once every week for an 8 week period and apply a little water if your material looks dry. Allow to sit for another 2-4 to four weeks. Your final product should resemble this. Apply this final product to the plants in your backyard garden. In observance of Vector Control Week, I challenge you to start a simple composting heap at home, which by the way can be done on a larger scale. Here is Cecilia Markey to tell you more. Composting is rather simple. You take your uh, refuse from your uh, the skins of your, the fruits and the vegetables and the foods you eat and you uh, mix it with uh, a manure from either cow, horse, chicken, whatever animal or you can do a combination of the, of the um, animal manure and um, you have to uh, use the, the skins, those refuse skins in the, in the manure you mix it with maybe some grass trimmings from your lawn or around your house and um, you wet it, cover it, and you turn it. That's about a six week process until you have a material that looks similar to dirt when everything has decomposed. And um, you use that as a, almost like a pit moss. It almost looks like a peat moss and you use that to grow your plants. There are several benefits. You're refeeding the food you're growing with the food you ate. That's one. You're giving the crop a, a natural substance that helps them not only to grow but to um, eliminate some of the pests so you don't have to use pesticides. A lot of the times when you use a natural method, which is what we've been using for centuries, that is the healthier method to use to grow your crops. It's amazing just to watch life develop in front of your eyes in the form of a plant. Just do it. I'm Shilton Charles from the St. Lucia Soil Risk Management Authority. Thank you for watching the Vector Encounter, A Closer Look. <laughs>